Hello photography fans and welcome back to another Lenswood review. Today we're taking a look at Small Rig's 350D COB LED light. Let's see what it can do. A year ago, Small Rig launched their first COB LED lights and they've now expanded their lineup with a 350 watt and a 450 watt daylight and bicolor units. Today we're reviewing Small Rig's RC350D, which is a daylight only version that promises up to 149,000 lux of output. Since the release of their first COB LEDs, Small Rig has been innovating to bring new advancements to their more powerful unit. One major addition to this light is the gallium nitride technology in this power block that helps to keep the size smaller while producing lower heat and allowing for higher power output. Another important improvement is the COB itself. It's larger in size and it features a highly reflective base and a specially coated glass cover to provide a higher light output and a more consistent light beam. To control the heat from the increased output, Small Rig equipped these units with a super quiet double fan. Preventing overheating allows Small Rig to encase these lights in a plastic fixture that keeps the unit light and portable. Small Rig also included a detachable mount for better portability. It's a metal quick release system with a metal handle and a hydraulic damping barrel that ensures safe tilting. This right here, this deserves a special mention. This is solid, well built. It also deserves a subscribe and a bell notification. Subscribe. The RC350D is shipped in a semi-hard carrying case that includes the light itself, a power braking cable, a detachable mount, and a hyper-reflector. The unit features a sleek design with a metal chassis and a plastic cover with an integrated hand grip for safer handling. On the back of the unit, there's a small menu screen and an effects button with two control knobs for frequency and intensity. Below the controls is an on-off toggle, a control port, and a power cord connector. Both here and on the power brick, Small Rig added a locking feature to the connectors. The power brick features a power indicator and a safety cable to hang it off the light stand, which begs the question, Small Rig, what happened? Don't you already have V-mount clamps? I know you can do better than a cable. The RC350D features nine lighting effects, but since it's not RGB, we feel the use cases for these effects are pretty limited. With this much power, the effects is not what you would get this light for. This unit is really bright and it can come in very useful in a variety of shooting scenarios from light in a room to making sure that your slow motion footage is exposed correctly. We try to see if this light can overpower the sun. Our Seikonic C800 reading showed 90,000 lux at 2 p.m. with a partially cloudy sky. With small rigs and D filter and the shot exposed for the sky, the subject is completely dark. It's partially cloudy, the sun comes and goes. Right now, I'm gonna take a measure of my face. It's at 12,200 lux in the shade, and the backlight is 78,400 lux. Okay, and now I turn the light back on. This is a small rig RC350, daylight version. I'm turning it on, here's the difference. This is 100%, this is 50%, this is off. Back to 50 and 100%. And I will do the measurement again. It's at 35,500 lux. And it's at six feet away, more than six feet. It's over two meters. We also tested the light for color accuracy and output and here are the results that we got. In conclusion, Small Rig's innovations in lighting technology and their vast experience with grip and mounts have resulted in a great product that provides extraordinary power and a pretty portable size. The only thing that we would change in this light is a better clamp for the power brick and maybe a few tweaks on the app interface. Other than that, the RC350D is a solid light with a well-justified price tag of $800. The bicolor version sells for $900, but at the time of this video, you can get these units on B&H with more than a $150 discount. And that is it for our look at the Small Rig 350D. Go check out the full review on our website at lensvid.com. Subscribe to this channel and come back for more videos. We'll see you in the next one.